Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fighter Subscriber where a subscriber sends me a craft, it runs the gauntlet against my own fighters and then at the end of the season we have a face-off between the best performing four. Just before we get started, uh, some brief news, I have made a little addition to the rules. Uh, it's uh, jet engines only, no rocket engines I'm afraid. Uh, with that said and done though, let's go and see who is the second contender of this second season of Fighter Subscriber. Well, of the 10 remaining craft I have in my possession and ready to go, I fired up Google's random number generator and it kindly selected this. It is our returning double champion, Dunamus, and this is his A1 Liberator Mark VI. He's back, and this time it's got extra pointy bits, which does actually make it look really nice. So this is the successor to last season's winner, the Liberator Mark III. Uh, it's a drone, not the only drone we have in the competition this season, and it certainly looks the part, but how does it fly? Stupidly well is the answer. I mean, this thing is a beast. It tears up the KSC with no problems whatsoever. I mean, it's so powerful and so manoeuvrable. I actually had difficulty controlling it because of it. I just couldn't react quick enough as I was flying it round. And in the end, that did mean I sort of crashed it into the ground, but I think my craft are in trouble. So let's go and find out how much trouble. So for the first of the three fights, these Liberators will be going up against my Eurofighter-esque Cyclones. So, and with a sense of impending doom, let's get this one started. Here we go then. I think the Cyclones will be hoping for a couple of lucky early missile kills. The Liberators get their missiles away. It looks like the return volley is already coming in. Ooh, that's two away. They're set up to fire two missiles at their enemies. I think they're probably going to dodge this okay. Yeah, those two go flying well past. All three are not unharmed. Oh, Christ. It's going to be one of those days. So, let's see how long my one remaining Cyclone can survive. I didn't expect, like, a missile kill just that. Oh! Doesn't dodge it well enough, and that is... How long has this fight been going on for? I mean, I've been recording for less than three minutes, so... Oh, let's just... Let's just move on, shall we? Less than a minute. From the competition starting text to that final kill was less than a minute. I'm just hoping that that was the Cyclones showing why I'm planning to replace them if I do any future seasons of this. But, um, well, I'll just cross my fingers and we'll see what happens. Next up, the Liberators will be going up against my Club Tails, a slightly more manoeuvrable craft, hopefully a bit better at dodging missiles. And, well, we'll see, shall we? Right then, let's see what this second fight has in store. Both craft turning around, the Liberators will once again be loosing a volley of two missiles apiece, I'm assuming. Yep, there goes the second one. That might be going a little low. No, it's fine. The return volley is coming in. Uh, the Liberators are breaking low to dodge it. Yeah. Oh, one of them is well in the lead there. Missile just misses it. Another one coming in there, another one coming in there. Yep, that first volley. No kills from the first volley. I'm assuming the Liberators are going to launch another two. Yep. And the Club Tails launch one in response. Yeah. Because this it's this second volley where a lot of the kills have happened. Well, where a lot of the kills happened in the last episode. So it'll be interesting to Oh, that's one of the Liberators taking damage. Was that first fight just a fluke? We will have to see. How damaged is it? Is that the one? No, that's the one. Oh, having difficulty controlling the craft. That's another missile. 
that is one of the Liberators out of here. It is now two on one. It is the Liberators themselves who've been suffering from a deficit in missile dodging capability. And it is advantage club tails, although the gap between the two sets of craft is massive at the moment. Yeah. Those club tails really not managing to close the distance. The Liberators just keeping them at bay. Popping chaff, avoiding those missiles. Hmm. Closing the distance over here, though. Oh, and is that... That looks like the other Liberator has taken some heavy damage again from a missile. As a, one of the club tails is closing in rapidly. Must be within gun range now. Two of them, in fact. Surely any second now we'll hear the, uh, the roar of gunfire. We do see the roar of gunfire, but it's not from those two. The only undamaged, uh, only undamaged Liberator has a club tail on its tail. I should have called that craft something different. I really should have done. I mean, this is a highly manoeuvrable craft. If any craft can turn it around like that, surely it's this one. What weapon is he going for? Oh! That was close. They both turn around. How is the other? Loses a missile. Still looking to take the fight to the club tails. Will that tactic actually pay dividends? Here comes the other club tail. The Liberator's just got the power to put the distance between it, uh, it and the uh, club tail, though. Is that the Liberator? That is a missile. And we're down to one damaged Liberator. Well, this... This is not what I was expecting. But even with... Even missing an engine and a lot of wing surfaces, still those... Those club tails are almost nowhere to be seen. Having a bit of difficulty. There we go. There we go. So missile kills getting the better of the Liberators this time. So a complete reversal. As what remains of the last survivor. Tumbles very slowly. Into the, uh, into the cliffs by the sea. Hang on. See if we can find that. No, it's just hovering there. Yeah, I think we can safely call it for the club tails, nonetheless. Let's move on to the final fight. Okay, so I officially have no idea what is going on today. Um, let's see how this one pans out, shall we? This time it is the Liberators against my Panthers. Let's get them into the air. Here we go then. Uh, this time I really would like to see a bit of close-up dogfighting, a bit of uh, bit of gunfighting, because I think that's where these Liberators could really shine. I mean, they've got the, the manoeuvrability to stick to the tails of their opponents, and also the uh, the power as well, so that they can uh, turn the tables on someone else in an instant. Um, but yeah, so far it's just been all missile kills. So I have to see how this one progresses. They do seem to be closing the distance. I know it's early days, but they do seem to be closing the distance a bit more. So um, that's that's a good early sign. Two missiles away from this Liberator at that Panther. None of them find their mark. Follows up with guns. Nothing doing. More guns pouring into that Panther. Scorches it. Is that enough damage? It doesn't look too damaged from here. It's missing an engine, from what I can see. Oh, and one of the other Panthers has fallen prey to what I assume is a missile kill. Here is that Panther, though. It's it's looking a little bit sorry for itself. But yeah, it, it was a, the guns. As I was hoping, damage caused by guns. And now this Liberator looks set to finish the job off. Light has a, looks to be having a little bit of difficulty lining up the shot, but 
There's the bullet. A little bit of a smattering there, but it wasn't enough. Now has to break off because of a missile. Our one healthy panther laying guns into one of the Liberators. Looks to be avoiding it pretty well at the moment. There's a lot of distance between the two of them. The debris from that panther crashes into the ground. And yeah, these panthers are going to need to pull something out of the bag pretty quickly or it's going to be... Um, it's not going to be good news. How's the other panther getting on? Still has that liberator stuck to its tail. Not overly fond of the guns at the moment. I wonder if it's having problems lining up a shot. Shouldn't be. This panther coming about, deciding to acquire a new target or... So it seems... Nope. Now trying to turn about. Guns coming in from that Liberator. Gets a missile off. Yeah. This is what I wanted. Pulling some manoeuvres to try and dodge those guns. Managing it so far. Oh! There goes a bit of damage. Just slightly scorched though. Nothing major it doesn't look like. More guns, more damage. That's less superficial. Loses a couple of control surfaces. And that looks like one of the Liberators has just snuffed it. What happened there? Where did that go? And that's the other Panther. What on earth? That is the remains of the Liberator. I didn't see what else, what happened there. Nonetheless, things do not look good for this panther. Missiles incoming. Lost three of its control surfaces. I'd imagine it should be able to dodge those missiles, particularly at this range. That Liberator is still quite a distance away. This Liberator has actually managed to open up quite a lot of distance between the other Liberator as well, but is now being peppered with missiles. Managing to avoid them for the moment. How much chaff do you have left? And Jebediah Kerman is out of chaff. And the missiles come in and finish the job. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was the A1 Liberator Mark VI. And I think it was a little unlucky today, but then that's how these things sometimes go. But with six kills and five survivors over the three fights, that gives it a points total of 11. Level with the Legion Atmos Fighter. Um, I'm not going to bother doing the tiebreak stuff just now. If they're level on points, I'm going to put them um, put them in alphabetical order. We'll start worrying about that stuff once we get towards the business end of the season. Um, if you've got a fight you'd like to send me, uh, the roster's getting pretty full at the moment, but I think I've just got room for another one or two. Uh, all the details are in the description, along with a list of the current rules. Uh, my massive thanks to Juna Moose for this vehicle. It certainly put up quite a fight. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.